All right. Good morning. I should say now, Cyber Friends. Uh, this is old middle man coming at you from Walker Music. I said the reason I said it like that because it was I I tried doing this video before midnight, and I ended up being after midnight before I was able to really get it done. Want to say we give God all the praise as usual. Y'all know the routine, and we thank God for each and every one of you. If you look at my title, it's to give the people what they want. If y'all can remember, those of you my age and above, you ought to know the tune or the group, I should call, say, uh, the OJs. The OJs. They had a song that came out back in the 70s, I believe it was, uh, said, to, with this here particular title, exact title for that matter, give the people what they want. And if you listen to some of the, the words of the song, the lyrics, it, it speaks about people want better education, better food to eat, money. They want money. They want more money and whatnot. It was speaking on those uh, particular things. And I can agree with that to a degree, you know, in, a, in the right, proper way, in a, in, a, in a proper manner. Yes, everybody should want a better quality of life. There's nothing wrong with that. But on, I look at that same title and topic in a different angle. I'll do the flip side of that same coin. That can also mean when it comes to having to deal with certain people, you got to give them what they want. Now, what I say about that is this. You can't make people do anything. You understand that? I want my, I want, I want all of y'all to, to remember a middle man telling you this here. You cannot make Grown people do nothing. Because really, truly, if you really want to think about it, it ain't like it was when I was growing up. Even parents can't even hardly make children do nothing these days. So now you know you can't make grown people do anything. So in other words, many man's take is this. I give the people what you want. If you don't want to be bothered with me, guess what? You ain't got to worry about it. Many man knows how to leave you alone. Let me say that again. Middle man knows how to leave you alone. I don't never, I, 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 I told the people, my third Sunday church, Pleasant Grove AME, the pastor, Reverend Stephanie Walton, and then my, and then my sister, the president of the choir, Christine, Christine Hope. They and the, and, the, and the whole Pleasant Grove Choir family, they gave me a uh, an appreciation program on last year, last October to be exact, third Sunday in October. And it was an awesome program, awesome program. And I got up and I made some remarks at the very end, and I told everybody, and I meant that. I meant it then and I mean it now. Middle man, there is not one person, y'all, you hear me good. There's not one person that middle man is mad at. Not one. Not one that I can think of at this moment. There's not one person that middle man is mad at. Now, do that mean I like everything that I see going on around me? No, that don't mean that. But I'm saying, if you like it, I love it. That's middle man's attitude. Ever since I fell sick last February, laying in the hospital, two of them. Did them I had four procedures on last year. Been up on anesthesia four times last year. Middle man ain't got time and, and he ain't got I, I ain't foolish enough to be mad at nobody. I'm too grateful and I'm too glad that what God has done for me to get me up health wise, cause I could have been a goner last year. I could have been a goner. And I'm just too grateful to God to be sitting around here talking about I'm mad at anyone. But now, let me tell you this. There are some people you got to do just what this title say. You got to give them what you want, what they want. You see, I can only go so far. I can, I can lead a cow or a horse or any other, a mule or a jackass. I can lead it to water, but I can't make it drink. You can't make people endorse you. I tell my group the same thing. This group, my group, 
personal group right now, Junior Walker and the Gospel Tritone. I tell them the same thing I'm now. I even told the former group that I was involved in, me and brother Arthur Butler, we were both uh uh we both started to cross the cavern. And I used to tell them the same exact thing. You cannot, you cannot make people endorse you. You cannot make people embrace you. You cannot make people like you. Joel Osteen said, I heard him say it on one of his sermons. He said, you can believe this, that 20% of the people that you meet ain't going to like you. 20% of them ain't going to like you. You ain't did nothing to them. They just got on, they just with the devil in them, they just going to pick you out to be picked on. So in other words, many man gives you what you want. I, I'm too busy. I'm too, I'm trying to be too productive. I don't like that busy word. You can be busy rocking in a chair, but you ain't going nowhere. So I don't like that word busy, but I am productive. I like to get things done. Now I got, I, I mind you that I, God knows there are certain things that I have procrastinated with. God knows I have. I'm not going to lie and sit, sit there and say I don't. I, 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 uh, for, what, for the lack of a better word, sometimes the motivation level don't be there, and I just kick it away and procrastinate and not do it. But at least I, when I do put my hand to something, I intend to get it done. I'm productive, not busy, because there's a lot of busy folks that ain't doing nothing. So if they're busy don't mean that when you tell me, and if I ask you how you doing, you say you're busy. That don't tell me nothing. That just tell me that you ain't getting nothing done, really, because you're that busy. Because anything, or like I said, you can be in a rocket chair, you're busy, but you ain't going nowhere. You're busy, but you ain't going nowhere. So I give the people what they want. Now, if you want me, the man, to treat you right, me, the man, will do that. If you don't want me, the man, to treat you right, well, I'm not going to treat you wrong, but you know what middle man going to do? I'm going to leave you alone. That's what I do. In other words, that is the best way to handle it. I saw somebody make a post on, on Facebook said about the best way to do something was to not deal with ignorance. I agree with that totally. If you want some peace, don't deal with ignorant people. Because there's something that you are never going to be able to satisfy. You are never going to satisfy some people regardless of what you do. You might as well forget it. So to keep your blood pressure down and keep you from having heart trouble and keeping you from having a heart attack, it's just best to let those people go on about their business and you just give them what they want. They want to be left alone, leave them alone. Don't beg and lick your lap nobody. I tell you, I'm just like a, I'm just like a cousin of mine. I got a cousin, Brother Ed Johnson. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call his name because I love that. That's a, that's a good saying he had. He said, I got a bad back. It don't bend to kiss nobody's behind. I agree with that totally, 100%. So what I mean, give the people what they want. I mean just that. Give them what they want. If you, you, you they, they don't want to be bothered with, leave them alone. They don't want you to tell them nothing, leave them alone. They don't, they, they. You can't tell them nothing. Leave them alone. Give them what they want. And you go on about your business. You go on about your business. And just be who you are to be the best you can be. And don't you have a problem. Just because you got a problem, you want everybody else with problems. Just because your day is messed up, you want everybody else's day is messed up. No, now you ain't going to mess mine up. You're gonna be, you're gonna, you're gonna, you if you you gonna do it right by yourself. You're not gonna, you're not gonna make me feel guilty because of the fact that I'm trying to keep a good attitude about people and trying to think the best of people when you're trying to think the worst of them all the time. You go ahead on and do that, but you're not gonna bring me in that. You're not gonna bring me in that conversation. I'm not gonna be a part of that. So in other words, give the people what they want. This is middle man saying whatever you get, whatever you get into. God ain't in it. Please, man, please, sir. Come on out of it. Because it's going to come to nothing. Until the next video, next Bible study, whichever comes first. This is me, the man saying peace and good morning.